Korean nationalism. Conclusion. So in this lecture, we have examined from a historical perspective, the origins and development of nationalism in Korea and ending with South Korean nationalism. We've seen that it began in the late 19th century, starting with an effort to preserve sovereignty and independence in Korea, moving through the colonial period, which was mostly focused on uh, anti-Japanese sentiment and restoring independence. Uh, and then moving into the post-liberation period, uh, particularly after the Korean War in South Korea, taking on an anti-communist feeling and then being fueled by major successes that South Korea has experienced either from either the 1988 Olympics, uh, the tremendous economic development and growth, um, the cultural recognition through the Korean wave. All of these things have gone into um, to uh, make Korean nationalism a unique kind of nationalism within Korea. But the most constant feature of Korean nationalism has been the idea of Korea as a pure blood, a common race, and sharing an ancestry. These are the keywords for this class. Nationalism, ethnic nationalism, self-strengthening movement, independence movement, Korean war and division, economic development,